Yeah, I think it's a very, very big, big deal for me. I think there's only six players who achieved this, this goal in the, in the career, but uh, I think I never really thought I would be, be sitting here today saying I would play 50 tournaments. I think when I started here, 35 tournaments was the benchmark for, for all players. My first touch, we played a, play a move, I played a run around, I ran around, I touched the ball. I, ran, I, I broke the line, I, I offloaded the ball to Siabello. He got his first touch, also we made out debut at the same time. He scored, and in that same movement I broke my hand. And then after, I, I finished the game, but after the game I went for x-rays and stuff, and then they saw on the, the uh, photos that I, I broke my hand, I had to flew home, and it was, it was a sad moment for me, I, I, I cried. <laughs> I never got negative or anything, I just came back stronger, I came back, I played my next tournament in Hong Kong. Uh, first two games didn't really play, the third game I got a start and I scored a hat in that game and I think, yeah, from there I think things just got better for me. Playing in Olympic is obviously one of the highlights for me, but I think most importantly, I, teach, I think it's the, the growth to see where we come, where we come from and, and how far we've, we've come uh, as a team and where we are today. I think when I started here we were... We were a good team, but I think we, we had our, our struggles that we, that we had to fight, that we had to bat, our battles that we had to fight. And uh, I think from there where we are now, I think we, we overcome those, um, those, those battles. Adams it says, not releasing. And quickly, Frankie Horn gets closer and puts it down. The big man. Frankie Horn, you talk about robust. You talk about durable. If I can mention one guy, I think Frankie Horn, I think is one, one thing I learned from me is just that fast beat mentality. He's just a guy, he could have been almost dying or something. He would never uh, give up, never surrender unless the, the, oh, <laughs> the management would take him off the field. I think he was one of those guys you can, you can count on. He, he, he will fight till he dies. So, yeah, I think that's something that I, that I can take from him. And then there's also like Kyle Phillips, there's a lot, a lot of Soso, Branko, Chris, yeah, all those guys. I think it depends on the body, but I think I can still go. Uh, I'm only 26 years old now, so normally a guy, a rugby career ends like at 32, 31 years old. Uh, so for me, I think I still got a few more years left, six, six seven years maybe. Uh, it all depends on how I can uh, manage the body. Yeah.